Alright, so because my other video was so long, I am starting over and going through the new ISOs that they've added to the game. Pretty much they're all on sale, so if you plan on getting them, get them now. So, even the ones that were old are in here for cheap, but you don't want to get any of those. At all. So we're just going to keep going until we get to the new ones. Oh, okay, the new ones are all shiny. Alright, so the generalist costumes have an E-ISO for every class bonus. So if you see this one, this one has blaster bias, which, you know, so is the uh, blaster... It's pretty much what blasters get when they get uh, their little buff for their class bonus. Ignore defense and always crit. And whenever you knock out an enemy, you get it again. And there's one of these for every class. This would probably be really good on Blue Marvel. Because, obviously, I think he... I think he has deadly crits. Even if he doesn't have deadly crits, having him just crit and ignore defense at the start, and then probably blast you and then get it again. You can't really go wrong with that. That's that's pretty strong. This is pretty much going to replace the old E-ISO that you used to put on her on people like Spitfire. Because this is attack and defense as opposed to just attack. I'm not sure if it stacks with the other one, but you'd want to use this and the Elite. Not the Elite, sorry. Whatever the Scrapper PvP ISO is. And this is pretty much just going to be a straight replacement. But it's cheap. So that's good. Cheap is good. This. Let's see. This is pretty good. Because this is pre-counters that interrupt. And you take reduced damage from single target and area attacks. Attacks. I don't know why they split it up. <laughs> you take reduced damage from attacks. I mean, there's, there's no disadvantage there. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just straight up good. I, I would say you probably want to buy that. If you run Infiltrators. And people were running Moon Dragon quite a bit. And... You know, adding to her utility with this would be really strong. So I, I would take it. So here we have this ISO, which you take reduced damage, and then you can't be exploited. I mean, that's not what blasters are about. Don't buy that. <laughs> so... Exhausted options does extra damage. Buff actions that are not quick actions become quick actions. So, snappy service with more damage on your secondary. I, I guess that's cool. Like, if you're Magneto, you would love this. Because, assuming you're not running double E-ISO on him already. If you are, then you're, you're kind of screwed. But, you know, exhausted options, being that you can just give that, you know, activate it. That could turn really strong. So this would be a pretty decent one to consider at least having one of. So start with Mirror Image and Ukemi, pretty much. You know, reduce damage from counters and follow-ups. This is pretty much a straight-up replacement. It's five. Go get it. At least have one. No question asked. Start the fight with Sacred, which means you can't be uh, debuffed on the first turn. And then single target attacks gain... Determination attack. Which I believe is the one where if you're higher health, you do more damage. So... I guess. I'm moderate on that one. So, this one, ranged attacks have a higher chance to hit critically, and all attacks have a small chance to stun. It's five. <laughs> you get it if you want. I, I don't know. I, I don't... In the middle. So this one, you have a chance 
to do splash damage. So this is pretty much an up, straight up upgrade to the other one. It has a chance to make your next attack unable to be interrupted. I don't know. Being interrupted sucks. So you probably... You probably think about it. But... Uh, I'm in the middle on that one. So, start... Uh... Combat with recuperation. Gain recuperation when the target's knocked out, and measured attacks. This one sounds pretty good. I can't really think about who it would be great on, but non-stop action is what it's called, which I guess makes sense because it's pretty much I'm just going to attack the crap out of you. But scrapper, uh, I'm sorry, tacticians in general that I'm thinking of in my head right now aren't really the full-on let-me-attack-you kind of guys. So I don't know if you would really get a lot out of that. But if you ran somebody like Doctor Strange with that, he would definitely work well. But then again, if you ran him with that, you couldn't run any of his EISOs, so it's it's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, chance to resist stun status and melee attacks have a higher chance to crit. I don't imagine you would actually run this over anything else that you put on a bruiser, so... I don't think so. Bloodsport... I mean, it's, you just, you know, bleeding does increase damage. Don't want to click on it in my, takes reduced damage from bleeding, single target attacks on open wounds, no. Just because there's, there's too much uh, people cleansing the stuff, I, I don't, I think you would just run into a lot of trouble. Yeah. It might be decent on Spitfire. So you get a rising up when an enemy... Uh, when attacked by an enemy melee attack. And you gain finest hour. I think that's crap because you have to get hit. And I'm sure you could work some setup with that to where you just give them finest hour buff. You know, there's tons of people who do it. But... I don't personally think so. So, apply pressure points to enemies who attack melee and you gain Paragon Exploiter. Uh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. It's 15? I don't, I don't think so. Attacks now gain a power draining shield where you take reduced damage while the shield is up and you summon elite eye bites that apply doom. That sounds pretty corny, but I think doom is still a fear effect, so it cannot affect worthies and most agents that are mechanical nowadays, so I'd say no. Um, start combat with a shield and recharge gives you a shield that regenerates health and stamina. Nobody uses recharge. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> start combat with... Uh, yeah, so this might be a decent choice for uh, a generalist. This is the generalist one. Bruiser benefit. Same as the, the one listed before, so I'm not really going to go into detail on that. Not yet. So... Honestly, this might be pretty decent on Rogue, though, so you might want to consider that. If you're running Rogue. So, follow-up attacks apply reduced potential and prevents lockout effects. <sighs> it's not a problem. and It's not very useful. Removes one debuff every turn and recharge restores health and removes all debuffs. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's ridiculous. I think that's actually good. I think that's actually good. I, I think you might want to pick that up. Because you know, removing debuffs and then cleansing and healing yourself 
literally whenever you want to, as many times as you want to. Like, there's no limit on that, from what I can tell. So why wouldn't you get that? I think that's a good one. Master Blaster, range attacks increase attacks and uh, attack and defense. So this, I feel, would be good on somebody like Deathlock, and it's five. So like Deathlock, if you give him the oh hair trigger, if you have that, I hope you do because I have like two. Uh, it was a Spec op. So if you don't have it now, you don't. You're not gonna get it until they resell it. Which I don't know when they plan on doing it. I really hate the fact that they're limited like that. But um, range attacks is pretty much all he does. So you would just pretty much be stacking up damage, and with his passive increasing his damage from others attacking, he's just gonna ramp up damage. The only thing you have to worry about, I'm pretty sure you can cleanse though. So that part would kind of suck. Scrapper. Infiltrator. So I think the Infiltrator one might be decent. This one's five. Just because counterattacks are generally just really good to have. So all single attack, single target attacks have desperation and all out attack. And you start combat with back for more. Honestly, if you run Infiltrators, I would say yes to that one. Because this is back for more with, with more. <laughs> you can't really go wrong. and it's Sure, it's Infiltrator only, but you can't go wrong. Uh, recharge restores some health and adds a shield that absorbs damage and greatly increases attack. Nobody has time for that. Next. <laughs> Battle Plans. Tactical Tendency. This might be pretty good. Just because getting extra turns from single target attacks is just... I mean, it's, it's extra turns. You, you can never go wrong with extra turns. Let's see, all attacks are magical and apply Bane. Applies Dark Force to enemies who attack you with melee. Dark Forces. So that's probably... Uh, if you're running, if you're trying to run null, this would probably be amazing on oh, a teammate of his. So you could like toss it on an agent, and then every, everything the agent does is just going to be boosted. No one's really running um, magic immunity anymore, so this could really shine, you know, in PvP. It's a consideration because it's 15. So I don't know. It's quite that's quite an investment. So, get an extra turn, chance to get an extra turn when you're attacked, and chance for a follow-up attack after a single target attack. Yes, please. I mean, that's this is a no-brainer. Like, more turns, and follow-ups. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. <laughs> Counter-attacks apply near-fatal. Sure, why not? I mean, that's, if, that, that that's pretty decent, but being that Fatal Blow has been removed, or moved down to 20%, it's a little less appealing, but I mean, it's, it's, it's alright. It's a consideration. Chance to gain Exalted when attacked. I, I don't remember what Exalted did, but un Uninterruptible is decent, but... Looking at Spitfire, it's unnecessary because she's the only scrapper you're really running. Um, let's see. Buff abilities restore some health. Gain grit. I would say... No. Because I don't really see what grit is for on this type of character because it doesn't give you that much um, stats. And there's already some or cheaper ISO that does the buff abilities restore health, so no. I would say no. That's already been in the game. So I think this is, the rest of these have already been in there, yeah. I'm sure people still like Fatal Finish, Blaster Bias, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, that was a little shorter than the last one. But there's a few ISOs that I pointed out in there that I thought would be really good. 
the main thing I think is just the one that gives the blaster bonus to Blue Marvel because I know he's he's a popular choice. And putting the blaster bonus on him and just having him get it back and do it again and do it again and do it again. That's really good. Anything that's cheap, like if it's 5 or 10 right now and you're just sitting on some gold, don't be shy. They're on sale until the 17th, so you got uh, about two weeks. But go in there and go get them. You know, preemptively, because they're, they're going to be pretty good. You know, this one's five. Like, why not? You have five. Everybody has five. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I think of them so far. Hopefully next season will continue to be, you know, pretty good. I kind of thought the set was a little bit broken. <laughs> I'm sure everybody in the world was running that psychic set and just... Blasting the crap out of people. But that's just how it goes. So, I will catch you guys later. I'll try to make more videos when the next season starts. I just think I've been lazy for like the last two seasons. I'll stop doing that and I'll play. <laughs> this is not like I wasn't playing. I'll just play on camera. I just sleep too long. But alright. I will catch you guys later.